there is so much overlap with being prepared and being successful. What's going on guys? Nate here coming back at you with another video. Hope you guys are having a great Sunday and just hanging out with some people that you love. I am, but but not right now because I'm making this video. But I hope you guys are having a great Sunday so far. Shopify checklist. So if you've not already launched your store, if you're in the process of launching your store or just want to create a Shopify store to sell stuff on, to drop ship, to do print on demand, you're gonna wanna be prepared because being prepared and being successful there's so much overlap between those two things. Now you might've seen a couple of videos like this before, like Shopify checklist, everything you need to be successful and don't forget this stuff. Those videos are great and I've seen some really good ones, but in all of them, I do see a few things that they're not completely covering that I would like to cover in this video just to be absolutely 100% prepared for success on Shopify. All right, I have a list of about 10, 10 to 12 things. So let's just jump right into it. The very first thing that you should have is a store name. And I know you guys are thinking, Nate, I'm not stupid. I know that I have to have a store name, but what I'm getting at is make sure that it's good, very versatile, looks good on social media, just as beautiful and just sounds good, rolls off the tongue easy, make it kind of fun to say. I follow this one brand called Rip and Dip and I could just say that all day. So really, really put a lot of thought into your store name before launching. I know some of you guys probably already do that, but it is just absolutely so crucial. Number two, have a URL. I can't tell you guys how many people I see with their Shopify stores. It's like dogtoysuperhouse.myshopify.com. That looks so sketchy. People are not going to want to buy from that. It doesn't look legitimate. It doesn't look professional. And most of the time with those stores, it looks like they threw it together because they probably did. And as you guys know, the more time you spend on something, just making it better and better. You don't have to spend 10 weeks on your Shopify store, but really just put some time into it. Create an amazing URL for your store, make it easy for people to find something kind of short, kind of catchy. You guys know what to do. Number three, you need to have a credit card to pay for your monthly Shopify things, as well as things on AliExpress or just apps on Shopify. Sometimes you can use PayPal for certain things, but as far as I know with Shopify and AliExpress, it does require a credit card. And also with that credit card, make sure you have a bank account, which I don't think you can have a credit or debit card without a bank account, but make sure that you have a bank account and know the routing information and know everything about that account. Next, you do wanna have a PayPal as well because you want to make it as easy as possible for people to buy things from you. Now think about Amazon here for a second. How easy is it to buy things from Amazon? And the answer is it's too easy to buy things from Amazon. And that's one of the reasons why they're so successful beyond just their insane marketing abilities. Now, just to kind of tie the last two points together, one thing that I do want to say is you want to make sure that you double check your payment gateways before you launch your store because there's nothing worse than having your PayPal not set up correctly or entering in the wrong credit card information. Just It's just going to be a mess. So just, just take an extra few minutes and just make sure that everything is good to roll. Everything is set up. Everything is just smooth sailing. Next, you want to have social media for your store, ideally Instagram and Facebook, because those are the two most used social media platforms right now. And that's where a lot of business goes down. So make sure that you set up an account on both of those with your store name, ideally the same at name, but if not, just have them be as close as possible. Next, you want to have a FAQ section and an about us section in a terms of service section on your website. That makes customers feel more safe, more secure, and if you add an about us section, it just adds an extra personal touch to the store, it makes it feel very, very personal, very legitimate, just like someone put their heart into it, say, hey, this is just our passion, we love selling strapless bras and, and dog toys, you, know, you guys know, um, but just seriously add an about section, just spend a couple minutes on it and just make it kind of personal, kind of fun to read. It'll make a difference, I promise. Because all of the little things on your Shopify store that might not seem very, very important to you, are absolutely important because as you know, the little things over time compound and create something absolutely beautiful. Number seven, you should have a company email. But here's something cool. If you bought a URL from Shopify, what you can do is type in sales at whatever your domain is, like dogtoys.com. So sales at dogtoys.com. And that actually works as an email. I didn't know that until a few months ago, but that's an absolutely great tip. So have a company email. It looks very professional. Next, this is one of the very, very most important things after you get the bare bones structure laid out. One thing or two things actually that you're gonna wanna have installed. 
Facebook Pixel, as well as Google Analytics. These will be so incredibly helpful for building lookalike audiences on Facebook, tracking your customers, and it's just everyone knows that data is worth money and produces money. So make sure that you have those things installed. If you have any questions on how to do that, I can either make a video or you can DM me on Instagram or Twitter. Also very important, next step on the checklist, another thing that is super crucial, have a marketing plan before you launch. Don't just launch your, your skincare, super drop shipping website without a marketing plan. Have it so three, three to four days out of the week, you're running a shout out on an Instagram page and then plugging it here and here and just make sure you have some sort of loose plan, ideally more of a tight knit plan on how you're going to market your store, each product, have at least a few good products that you are very confident that are gonna sell and market those and have a plan on how to do so before you launch your store. I cannot stress this enough, have at least some sort of idea or plan on how you're going to get these things marketed. Next, make sure to double check your shipping settings because you don't want people to be paying zero dollars or way too much for shipping because if shipping is way too much, you're gonna lose customers or if shipping is just zero dollars, you're gonna lose money. So make sure to double check your shipping settings. Trust me, just take a second, it's worth it. Also, this is very, very important. This has to do with professionalism and just the overall look of your store. Make sure that you have someone or yourself check the grammar and spelling on your store because you can't even imagine how bad that would look if you misspelled the word, didn't put a period, didn't capitalize something. Can you imagine going on the Apple website or Amazon or just one of those giant retailers and they spelled something wrong or didn't put a period or something? That never happens because they're so professional and you want to be on that level as well. The last thing, another very small detail that really can add a lot, not immediately or by itself, but combined with everything that I've just mentioned, we'll just add another layer of professionalism and legitimacy to your store. And that is removing Powered by Shopify at the bottom of your store. Now, you can do two things. One, you can edit your code to say powered by either your store name or just nothing and it'll say copyright dog toy balls or whatever, you know, something like that. And now I could just say, go ahead and look that up on your own but I wanna provide as much value as I can to you guys, so I'm just going to click quickly, <laughs> I'm just going to quickly tell you guys how to do that. So you wanna go into the part of Shopify where you can edit your store code, then go to footer.liquid, it's in the sidebar. Go ahead and click on that, Control F, Command F, whichever computer you have, you might have Windows or MacBook, whatever, Control F, so you can find a keyword and type it powered by and then go ahead and delete that tag or edit it in any way that you want. You can either delete that or just customize it in any sort of way and that's just going to add another layer of legitimacy and just amazingness to your shop. Alrighty guys, thank you so much for watching this video. As you can see, I'm getting kind of hot in my car, but thank you so much for tuning in. We're almost at 50 subscribers. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you liked it, also leave a comment and subscribe. We're building a really cool community here where we're just helping each other out, growing together. That's the motto. The motto of this channel, let's grow together. I genuinely appreciate you guys checking this out. I hope you have an awesome Sunday. I'll see you tomorrow.